Uh, it seems like it is a bit kind of swingy either way. Uh, and like, you know, in this case, Bobby was like the one that came out ahead. Uh, Salt's come out ahead in the past, but Bobby playing really clean. Um, it, I, I'm excited to see kind of his run yeah. where it ends. If and, it ends. and I would say just the way that uh, this bracket has now shaped up, uh, I would assume Sunsei would have rather have seen Salt in his path uh, as we saw them kind of doing their hand warmers warming up for losers finals. Uh, Bobby has a quite large win rate against Sunsei. Uh, 11 and 5 lifetime, and we're going to get into game one right now, see if he can make that 12 and 5, or is Sunsei going to get on the board here, going to grand finals loser side? I like literally in my head, you're like, Bobby has a quite large, and I'm like, balls? Like, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the name, dude. Like, but uh, <laughs> yeah, like I. I can totally see what you mean about Sudsei wanting to not play Bobby. I think, yeah, kind of a tricky player to... Dude, for, forward air. He doesn't even give me time. Ooh, this is a run back from... Oh, so, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so for those who did not catch their previous match, this is a run back. Uh, they barely, barely... Uh, like, Bobby barely lost. So, clearly competitive set. Good pressure from Bobby so far. And... This has already been so back and forth. Okay, yeah, playing around platforms right now, looking for single opening. Yep, yeah, Bobby kind of just going towards top platform quite a bit, and I think Sunsei looking to just shark underneath for a lot of these interactions so far. So I wonder what that's going to lead to right now. Yeah, he called called it out this time. Yeah, smart actually. Like, uh, just I think one of the coolest things that you see in melee so often in 2022 is like player does cool thing and then other player is completely ready for the cool thing and does something right. cool. Like it, it somehow happens like all the time. And it used to be like a, whoa, this is making a clip. And now it's just like, that's just the game, man. Crazy. All right, yeah, just playing towards center right now. Bobby again, just kind of putting himself in the corner, but this is oh. a huge reversal. Yeah, big shine. Yeah, that's one of the few ways that Falco can kind of like effectively set up a gimp is kind of going for that forward throw forward tilt. Um, doesn't get kind of the full stock off of it and uh, throws away his stock in the process, but still manages to get 71. And you know, an up tilt back air can easily set up an edge guard. Once again, going for the forward air, pretty much the only thing that would hit there. I feel like forward air really is his move the more I think about it. Like it is one of the things that, like people talk about Magi and her up airs. I feel like Bobby and his forward airs is kind of kind of his thing oh my god that's that's a classic bobby too the uh what was that pc drop on that yeah. or did he edge cancel that turnaround it, honestly i'd have to see a replay because it, it looked so quick it didn't look like a pc drop the more i'm thinking about it because of how fast it was but that's that's the thing it, it like really is hard to call oh it's one of those moments where you do the pressure but you don't actually think it's going to hit so you're not ready for the follow-up Oh, oh, second laser barely clips, and then Sunsei a little oh. bit overzealous there on that edge cancel. This is yeah. getting a little bit hairy for both players. Yeah, I definitely thought that Bobby was going to go for the dare there, but if Sunsei had DI'd it, SCI'd it all, he would have not got it, but beautiful shine. Yeah, call out on the ledge there. Really good stuff, and I mean, there were, there were a few situations where it could have turned for both sides there. So, I don't know, crazy. Good stuff again. Sunsei gets on the board first. Is this going to be like a Kadoran set, though, where uh, seemingly he runs out of steam? Let's see what Bobby can bring to the table. I think one of the most interesting things of uh, of uh, a Fox Falco set is kind of like both the stages that they pick and the way they play those stages. Because I feel like in some matchups, there's kind of like a right way to play the stage. Like, you know, FD is a kind of example of like, because of the way the stage is in certain matchups like Mark Fox, you kind of just do the FD stuff. But Fox and Falco are such dynamic characters that there is no like rule book. There is no like, okay, this is how this stage works. It's all about like preference. It's like, if you like Battlefield, go to Battlefield, figure it, make it work for you and right. kind of see how those two things match up. And that's why people have been like in love with this specific matchup for 20 years because it's like, it's sick. There's so much to it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and it's kind of interesting seeing this game two start off right now. The uh, the macro positioning 
the walls kind of have reversed a little bit. Sunse is opting a bit more for top platform here, and a lot more neutral interaction uh, beneath both side platforms, as opposed to kind of like top-down neutral. We're seeing more left and right or horizontal positions. Oh, absolutely. Gets the uh, dash attack read as well there. Um, it, it's just funny kind of how people will will shift back and forth like that. And some of it is definitely like in, in direct response to what the other player is doing. And because the characters are so similar in certain ways, uh, they can kind of adopt each other's strategies. You know, they can right. say, I like your full hot back hair. I think I'll take it. <laughs> you know, like, so definitely yeah, can't relate, different. man. Bad Pardon? characters. Can't relate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, uh, options that Mario has that I want. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, let me try that. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Feels bad. Okay, yeah, back to top platform again. Bobby finds Shine right here, but slide off again Ooh. from Sunsei. Every time, this defense has just been <gasps> so amazing. That was insane that he found ledge there, but Bobby's still keeping it going. Oh my god, the fact that he almost covered that, like, really kind of niche up the angle. Uh, some of Bobby's option coverage has been so, so clever. Okay, again, Bobby fighting his way from oh. left side. Sunsei calls it out with the shine three stocks to two. Yeah, that was definitely like a, I know you're going to do this. I don't care about who needs reactions when you can read the future. Oh. Insane. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I can't believe that, that uh, he was able to grab a ledge there. And this should be the stock. So pretty much back to even. Uh, obviously, the percent advantage does open up some options for Sunsei that aren't on the same table, like wouldn't be on the table if, you know, Crouch Cancel was still in play. But uh, Falco in general doesn't have to worry about Crouch Cancel in the same way just because of how aggressive, how good Shine is as an opener. Yeah, absolutely. Completely agree. And again, yeah, there's a there's kind of a, a bit of, not necessarily flubs, but maybe just good uh, bobbing and weaving when it comes to getting out of corner or getting particularly out of ledge position for uh, Bobby. Oh my god, dead? Bobby the bobbing okay. and weaving. All right. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't. Sometimes you just don't have words for it. Yeah, no, it. I mean, it seems like a common problem when watching Bobby. Uh, he, he, yeah, very creative. But I feel like we, we've just been talking about Bobby the whole time when we could be talking about how polished and clean Sunsei is. You know, like he is a fox that I feel like, like I want to articulate what it is that makes him special because I do think he is like different from other fox players. I think it's very easy to just kind of see a sea of fox players and be like, oh yeah, just just another fox. And if they're not like a mango or something that you just kind of like, mm -hmm. you, you sort of forget about them. But like Sunsei like has a pretty clear approach to the game. When you, if you watch him enough, you can kind of pick him up apart from a lineup of foxes. It's just hard yeah. to articulate what specifically. Yeah, uh, some would say different or built yeah. differently. A little but... bit. Yeah, Bobby evens that one up. Something that I want to take a look at a little bit deeper as we go into this game three. Uh, you know, I had mentioned it before, Bobby just kind of finding ways to get around Sunsei's edge guard positions. And, uh, you know, like, for lack of a better word, ledge trapping, uh, which isn't really a thing in Melee, but, you know, a little bit. Uh, the way that Sunsei kind of sets up his positioning around an opponent at ledge looks so, so different between this set and his Kadoran set. What he was doing against uh, Kadoran and Marth, kind of at large, was a lot of full hops into uh, baits, either empty hop or just full hop, fall down back air, kind of expecting the Marth to uh, come up with an aerial, just look for anything there. A lot of what he does for Bobby is just kind of dash dance, wait, or stand on a platform. So I want to see if that kind of expands throughout this game. It might not, because the stage is so small that we might just see a yeah. kill, like something like that, but... I like the wall jump, just fixing up his recovery, also giving him some time to potentially have Randall come into the picture. But Sunsei, you know, still playing solidly enough, doesn't let him kind of get anything from it, and actually gets the tech, so he could, you know, if the angle was a little cleaner there, he might have been able to convert that into a stock. Yeah, Bobby finds a, kind of a miraculous reversal there on that right platform. Sunsei with a bit of pressure of his own, looks for empty hop shine, maybe an accident right there, but now Bobby turns it around yet again. Really, really like the way he's been extending this punish so far. Even the laser reset there, so, so, so smart. Getting 89% already, and it is still going, only now kind of being slowed down, and we'll get a chance to see Sunsei answer back. Oh, the call out on Shine, but Randall's there to make the difference. <gasps> 
dude. When people go for like up throw shine wave land instead of just like an up throw back air, it always looks so cool, but it's also like not always the best option. So it's, it's one of those like tricky things of like, are you making this too difficult for yourself or are you like a god? Yeah, the world may never know. Yeah. <laughs> Can only be one or the other. <laughs> Okay, big grab, finds the scoop up with up smash, but get up attack from Bobby gets him out of trouble for the moment. Wow, so much pressure there from Sunsei, and again, now it's Bobby's turn. Oh, oh no! Oh my He's god, insane. the fair so master, good. like, he, act, he literally, like, sounds like an exercise equipment. The Bobby master. <laughs> uses the fair master every night, and he has become the god with that move. Uses it in ways, you know, I just am not used to at all. And like you said, I'm taking notes. Every time I see it, it's like taking notes, but I feel like I'm taking notes in like a different language. Like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know what specifically made him choose that. And I don't know how to position myself to use it either. Like, it's such a specific to Bobby tech. It's crazy. Yeah. After uh, three days a week on the Fair Master, my uh, tail feathers <laughs> are fully chiseled, but it's not enough for me to take game three. Sunsei is going to go up two to one right now, set point and potentially returning to Kadoran for a grand finals rematch. Yeah, you know, make sure if you're signing up for a gym membership to see if they have a fair master or not, because it really will make the difference. Uh, that is what separates the boys from the men. But, uh, oh my God, again, like it's like just, I feel like this is one of those things where like, I can picture the Twitch chat being like, this commentator needs to stop talking about fair. But like, it is not that, good of a combo extender generally especially against uh fast fallers you see it way more often against floaties where it'll be like it'll be like a short hop or even a full hop fair you'll fast fall it and then you'll do like a down air and it's kind of like uh, a di in trap but you aren't really able to do that against the fast fallers because they they fall too quickly they hit the ground too quickly uh they're not in hit stun enough at the percents that you're like like when you're doing it uh and you're able to get that combo they're at a lower percent so it just isn't something I'm used to seeing. This is also just that bad. was nuts. The the amount of options that were covered in that short sequence, uh, yeah, uh, left my mouth watering a little bit there. He like, it's like he's the kind of player that I feel like every Falco player should be watching. Just just for the sake of like, especially if you want to optimize the character, like even Mango could watch Bobby and go like, okay, you know, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But that last thing Ooh. was pretty good. Yeah, Sunsei picking up a little bit on fair extension of his own. Weak hit Nair, not going to convert into much thanks to a slide off from Bobby. But we'll see, again, so much pressure right here. And it's just a straight up stock. Bobby wants to make this game five. Yeah, you know, this... This is just, yeah, it's been so close once again. I'm not surprised to hear that their previous set was as close as it was. I think that should have been a back air. Might have been a miss input. Obviously going for up throw up air there, not a terrible idea, but like, you know, yeah, like I'm kind of surprised to see him even go for it there because it gives Bobby an opportunity to SDI. But Dunsei, uh has been confidently up airing in this set and the previous set. So maybe he's just comfortable that like, the way he times it is different enough that the opponent will, won't be able to kind of adapt as readily. Because when he was playing Kadoran, he would up air like four or five times in a row and Kadoran didn't hit the SDI ever. So, you know, that really could just be about the timing. Yeah, the, the story of this set so far, and we'll see if Sunsei can just end it right now in this stock, but it, I don't know, Bobby might try to make this a five game set. It does seem like oh. Sunsei just straight up wins the set <laughs> but i was gonna say sunsei seems to have just been winning neutral uh far more often than bobby but when bobby find found that one opening he would just kill him straight up it wasn't enough to take him all the way here bobby will uh be exiting this tournament with the bronze medal but i mean you know for as much as we talked about bobby in the set sunsei is just out of this world man